So service to customers, how do you, how would you say a business could say, um, you know, these days keep a customer for life or what does customer for life mean to you? Would you, what would you say to that one? To me, a customer for life is looking after a customer and, you know, not giving them a reason to change, not giving them a reason to go somewhere else. And I call this in one of my books, I think I termed it the wombat theory of marketing. I know you're a marketing expert, Michelle, but to me, wombat stood for word of mouth, best advertising technique. Because really, you can spend squillions of dollars on ads, on social media, on traditional radio or TV ads. But if two people are speaking to each other at the footy or at the park or after school, and they say, I wouldn't deal with that organization or that person because of whatever, what are customers going to believe? The fancy ads are the word of mouth. Now, that's where social media has really changed things quite dramatically for the consumer. But of course, you can't believe everything you read on social media either, as I'm sure you know, but really cre creating long-term relationships. And I used to be in sales at IBM for many years, and IBM was a great company. They were the most respected company in the world at the time. I was very proud of, to work for them. And when I was doing my sales training, we were always taught how to close a sale, close a sale. But to me, that's very old fashioned. To me these days, rather than close a sale, you open a relationship and you open a long-term relationship with that customer, not just in and out, but open that long-term relationship to stay in touch with them, to see how you can genuinely help add value to their business. And if you're adding value to their business and they're seeing that, they're going to keep coming back to you. Now, I know you're a marketing consultant, Michelle, but I've never spent any money on marketing. I've relied on my customers and that word of mouth. And even you mentioned Rolls-Royce in your opening remarks. That job I did for Rolls-Royce in Korea resulted as a referral from somebody who heard me at a construction conference in Oman. And that resulted from someone who heard me at an IT conference in Mumbai. And that resulted from someone who heard me at a conference in Adelaide. And I, there was about seven or eight years in between. And I stay in touch with my customers. Once somebody is a customer of mine, they're a customer for life unless they opt out of my emails. So. Um, I really think it's, and I genuinely care about my customers. I really do. I'm just so incredibly fortunate to have customers, you know, all big and small. And I think it's that genuine caring. And I think it's important also that we connect the head and the heart in terms of giving great service.